Did you know that estrogen dominance doesn't always show up on a standard blood test and everything can look absolutely normal on paper, but you can still have estrogen-driven symptoms in your tissues? Well, estrogen is also produced and stored locally, especially in adipose tissue. Now, it can be recycled through the gut and also reabsorbed through the gut. Because if you have gut issues, especially if you're constipated, that is a problem, unfortunately. Now, if you have symptoms like heavier or more painful periods, breast tenderness, real bad, PMS, mood swings, headaches, bloating, you're irritable, you have fluid retention, and especially if you have fibroids or endometriosis flares, that's basically, that's a whole why you feel inflamed and puffy and emotionally hijacked in the second half of your cycle. And another problem is that most people test estrogen on cycle day three, which is fine, but it might miss the timing, but it can't fix the drivers behind the issues. Now, if you have blood sugar instability, constipation, gut dysbiosis, inflammation load, poor sleep and stress management and supplements are literally just expensive whole. Now, if you want a roadmap, a clear step-by-step -step approach to improve your fertility, so 2026 is the year where you have your little baby bump growing, then join my fertility circle.